Good evening. Hello. Hello, my name is Mary Morris. I'm the principal here at Felton Heading Head High School. I would like to take a moment to welcome everyone to the 27th Annual Evening of Excellence. BHB has always had a long tradition of recognizing students who excel in the classroom. This recognition is made each and every week through our Renaissance program, where students are recognized for achieving platinum, gold, and red cards, based on their GPAs each and week. This achievement culminates tonight at our 27th Annual Evening of Excellence. We had over 300 students to qualify to attend this year's event, and tonight we're here to recognize our students for excelling in academics, attendance, behavior, and citizenship. 17 scholars will be given out. The 17 scholarships, I'm sorry, will be given out, valuing a total of $18,000. These scholarships would not be available without the generous support of our local donors and community members. I would like to take this time to thank each of them for their generous support. We would also like to thank the Craft Family Foundation for the donation to the educational foundation so that we can provide teachers to all of our students in attendance this evening. Finally, I would like to thank the Anderson School District 2 board members, district office, administration, school administration, faculty, parents, and students for your attendance at this year's Evening of Excellence. I'm going to begin the evening with naming our Sustained Platinum Card recipients. Sustained Platinum Card recipients have a GPA of 4.85 or higher for the first through third nine weeks grading period to this school year. There are a total of 20 students receiving this honor. At this time, I would like for our six junior sustained platinum card recipients to line up over here. Oh, you want to start with seniors? Huh? Juniors? Seniors? Okay, I'm sorry. Juniors? Six juniors, I apologize. <laughs> These students will receive a Renaissance t-shirt. First time recipients will receive a letter which will entitle the students to purchase a bear jacket, which includes the BHB block letter patch and a Renaissance A pin, and repeating recipients will receive a gold bar. We do ask that guests hold their applause until all students have received their certificates. Emily Bagwell. Alex Blackston. Jasmine Franklin. Delia Gambrell. Abby Lackey. And Maddie Murdoch. Please give a round of applause to our juniors. <laughs> I would like to call up our 14 seniors who have earned the same platinum card this school year. Allie Barton. Jackson Bryant, Shaley Coffin, Ian Gambrell, Caleb Horn, Madeline Knight. Talmadge Leroy, Gracie Norris, Jada Patterson, Anna Phillips, Caitlin Phillips. Odessa Poor, Alyssa Valesio, and Lauren Yates. 
please give our seniors a round of applause. Hello everyone, my name is Brad Fulton, I'm one of the assistant principals here. I have the honor of presenting the sustained platinum and gold card recipients. These students have had a GPA of a 4.45 or higher for the first through third nine week grading periods for the school year. There are a total of 11 students receiving this honor, eight seniors and three juniors. These students will receive the Renaissance t-shirt, a bare letter if it is their first time, which will allow them to purchase a jacket with a block letter package and a Renaissance A pin. And repeating recipients will receive a gold bar that they can put on as well. When your name is called, please come up to receive your certificate. And once again, we ask that all guests hold their applause until the students have received their certificates. I'm going to also ask that the juniors who are receiving this award come forward and line up first. Whitner Bobo. Ruthie Corn. And Emma Thomas. Let's give these three ladies a round of applause. Now will my eight senior students that are receiving the sustained platinum gold card to make their way to the side. Amber Ashley. Austin Cross. Leilani Fuentes. Renee McLean. Reese Patterson. Megan Roper. Elise Scott. And Kevin Young. Let's congratulate these students. Good evening, I'm Dr. Mackey, and I'm one of the assistant principals here at Bell County of Beth High School. And I am here to present the sustained gold card recipients. These are for the students that have a GPA of 4.45 to 4 to 4.849 for the first and third nine weeks grade period of this school year. There are 13 students that will receive this award, nine seniors and four juniors. These students will receive a Renaissance teacher. First time recipients will receive a letter which will entitle the student to purchase a bear jacket, which includes BHP block letter uh, patch and a Renaissance 18. If this is the second time, you will receive a gold bar. When your name is called, please come forward to receive your certificate. And as always, please remember to hold your applause when your name is called. I will start with the four juniors first. Leland Bowen.
dressed in crying. Be held. Jasmine Higginbotham. Please give these Jews a round of applause for your help. Now I will ask that my nine seniors come forward and line up on that side as well. Nine seniors. <clears throat> Thomas Gitzinger. Brian Lewis. Wyatt Mouse Morse. Wes New. Seth Taylor. Abby Thomas. Xavier Washington. Slade Watson. Ella Williams. Please give these nine seniors a round of applause. Cotton, gold, or red. 
ground. Lily Harwell. Tyler Center. Janine Cole. Ezekiel Dotson. Haley Elgin. Jackson Brady. Carter Gaines. Elise Harris. Caitlin Haynes. Ashlyn Haney. Christina Knotts. Ella Lau. Jacob Robinson. Dustin Stallions. And Camden Sturgeon. Again, let's give these students a round of applause. Let's 
TV seniors have a more round of applause. This section of the program is titled Excellent in, test in Testing. Anybody who does have to any kind of exam test, EOC, you understand the significance and the stress that you have to go over uh, when you're taking those tests. Uh, I would like to take the opportunity this evening to recognize those students who have scored at least a 1,200 on the preliminary semester aptitude test. Students who have scored students who have scored at least 1,200 on the math and critical reasoning session of the scholastic aptitude test and students who have scored at least a 27 on the ACT. ACT, which is the American College uh, Test and Assessment Test. This, these test scores are from March 20th through March 2021. There will be other students who have made the score and will be recognized uh, when the time comes next year. Also, if a test is taken in April, the test scores will not receive the time for the awards back in this year. But the students who Achieve the test scores will be recognized the next school year for even the next ones. Only those students that pay for the test and have not been through any members will receive a check, uh, check for the cost of the test. Mr. Schultz has already, already given these checks back to the students. As I call your name, would you please come forward to receive your certificate? This is for the PSAT scores of 1,200 or above. You will remain standing up here because some of you have double categories. Jasmine Franklin. Delala <laughs> Gambrillo. The next group of students I'll call is for the SAT. They actually scored at 1,200 plus on the SAT. That is tremendous. Amber Ashley. <laughs> Ian Gambrell.
the night may be. Seth Taylor. Madison Watson. Once again, guys, this is a tremendous accomplishment. Please give these students a round of applause. Parents, we're going to transition to part of the program where we start giving out some scholarship money. My name is Matt Words. I'm the Social Studies Department Chair, and I'm here tonight representing the Social Studies Department to give out a scholarship. But before I do that, I just want to tell you how uh, glad we are to have you get here tonight. I didn't recognize most of them, so cleaned up, looking good, and dressed up. We're used to them in joggers and a t-shirt when they come to school. But uh, you've done a great job with these students. You've done an excellent job of encouraging them and pushing them. And usually this gym is filled with people clapping and cheering and yelling for a volleyball game or a wrestling match or a basketball game. And, and uh, your children deserve that same kind of praise tonight. Academics here at BHP has always been a top priority, and your students have excelled in that, probably for a big part for what you've done to help them along. And so congratulations tonight on all the work you've done to help your kid be successful academically. So tonight I'm a challenge to give out a scholarship, a Pauline K. History Scholarship. Each year the History Department awards a scholarship to a senior for $500 in memory of Pauline K. Pauline K. was a history teacher for many years. The student I'd like to recognize and award the scholarship tonight is Excel in all of her history classes, receiving a high score on the AP U.S. History exam. In addition, she has completed advanced placement courses in calculus, chemistry, biology, language, and physics. She is a member of the Baby Club, National Honor Society, and the Student Council, and has volunteered her time with food drives, Meals on Wheels, volunteered at the Haven of Rest, and Relay for Life. I am pleased to award the Pauline K. History Scholarship for $500 to Megan Roper. <laughs> Megan is planning to attend Clemson University and major in chemistry. Congratulations, Megan. Young lady who is involved in the National Baby Club 
National Honor Society, and NFA. She has served in her community through activities with each organization. In the NFA, she serves as the chapter secretary and is currently on state honor of Wildlife. I would like to award the final scholarship to Elise Stafford. Uh, 
uh, student who would like to present the scholarship to um, has volunteered for Mills on Wheels, Special Olympics, uh, hospice donations, also um, was a member of the student council, which was a class treasurer by the classmates, and named a leader at the career center and was captain of the volleyball team. On behalf of my family, I'd like to present this $1,500 scholarship to uh, Lily Carlisle. Southern Wesley University in the fall and major in psychology. 
Tonight, we would like to award a $2,500 scholarship to Abby Barton. service to Anderson School District 2 
And we believe that Dr. Russ demonstrated two or two of the most important traits that a person can success possess. And that's investing in the education of young people and also the discipleship of those seeking to serve the Lord. This award is an ongoing thank you to Dr. Russ for all the time he passionately invested in these two institutions. But this award is also an opportunity to celebrate a student with similar commitments and actions in the things they do and say. Tonight, I would like to recognize a student who we believe fits all these categories in serving her school, her church, her community, and peers. She is a member of Beta Club, National Honor Society, P1X, Student Council, and a member of the FCA leadership team. She has participated in many food drives and service hours, and as well as the school clubs that I mentioned earlier. She spent time tutoring students, helping teachers, and when needed, and when needed in participating in FCA events and fundraising. She is also a member of the volleyball team, where she was named All-Region Player and All-State Player and named Offensive Player of the Year. Tonight, we would like to award a $1,500 scholarship in memory of Dr. Jim Luss to Gracie Morris. Gracie will be attending Miami University in Ohio this fall to play volleyball and hopefully to study as well. She plans to pursue a career in mechanical engineering and architecture. Congratulations.
many CDE awards, including State Champion of the Tool Identification Career Development Event. She's a member of the VAT Varsity Volleyball Team and has twice won the Veggie's Award. At this time, I want to present a $3,000 scholarship to a decade for. ceremony for the evening, I just want to say a couple things. First of all, I want to thank parents for being extremely flexible with us this year. I feel like every other second I'm sending out one email, this is one thing and another email, and it says, oh no, we're doing it differently. And you guys are very gracious, flexible, and patient with us, and we just appreciate you. We appreciate all of your support of these students that are sitting here on the floor tonight. As Coach Worth said, they wouldn't be here without the support at home, and we know that. So let's give our parents a round of applause. I want to thank our students because you guys, we didn't know, you didn't know. No one really knew what this school year was going to look like. You walked into school coming two days and then not coming two days and then you came back. Some of you been virtual, some of you been face to face. It's been all over the place. But you guys clearly kept academics as your top priority and you still did things. So I just want to give you guys a round of applause. all of our um, speakers and donators and scholarship givers that came tonight. You guys are the reason that we can do the things that we can do here. So, they get around applause as well. <laughs> and then lastly, I want to thank three people that made tonight happen. Uh, Ashley Hank, Sam Moore, Jody Lecoy. They are our Renaissance Evening Excellence sponsors. They are the ones that get all the grades tallied and the things done and they set up these chairs and did everything that we needed to do from the auditorium to here very, very last minute so that guests could actually attend. So I would like to thank the three of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's all we have for this evening. Thank you guys all for coming and have a good night.